Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery 4, then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Discovery 4 3 litre ST V6 HSE automatic, four wheel drive of course, 2013 on a 62 plate, has done 84,397 miles at the moment. Fuel economy, urban, 28.8 miles per gallon, extra urban, 34.9 miles per gallon, and combined is 32.1 miles per gallon. Top speed is 112 miles per hour, out of a 255 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. As you know, we, uh, we like Discoveries, Range Rovers, any Land Rover, Range Rover product. Um, here we've got another nice example, good service history, good spec on the car, nice colour combination, nice and subtle. I'll, I'll just show you the, the features. So, if you've got the key on you, it's keyless lock. You come back to the car, all you have to do is put your hand behind the door handle. You see it's got power folding door mirrors, but uh, once you, once you get back to the car, all you have to do is have the key on you and it, it'll just open up and then you can get in, foot on the brake and, and click the start button. So this one has got the side steps. They, they're in pretty good condition. Some of them you get in the, the side steps are a, a bit tatty, but they're, they're really nice. We've got the rear privacy glass, the plastic kind of wheel arch extensions, multi-spoke alloys, the silver vents, high pressure headlamp wash. Now just in here, this car's got 360 degree cameras. So you've, you've got cameras pointing out each side at the front, in the door mirrors and also in the back. The big Land Rover badge there and uh, the silver grille, the, the signature headlamps. It, it always amazes, well, actually it doesn't amaze me because they're, they're probably the best car on the road in my opinion. But when you watch any films or documentaries or stuff in the Outback, there's always a, there's always a Discovery in it or a Range Rover. Um, absolutely fantastic cars as you know you can just go anywhere in them they're so they're so good so safe we'll wade through 700 millimeters of water uh go off road wherever you want uh, jeremy clarkson took one up ben nevis with a team of mountain climbers and a, and a winch of course but he, he still did it um fantastic absolutely fantastic cars really comfortable lovely to drive so the cameras are in the mirrors there. You can see the side view. And these aren't so bad because they've got quite a, a deep profile sidewall on the, the, the tires. Um, but handy for making sure you don't damage your alloys. And, and you know, <laughs> adverts, you see adverts on TV these days and none of them are believable absolutely none especially the car ones there was a, there was an advert with a courses f driving around in formation like the red arrows and and smoke colored smoke trailing out the back nobody complained about that they get the uh, the new defender i think on the tv and they're reversing up to the cliff and two people complained that the, the advert was withdrawn because two people complained that the reversing sensors wouldn't work on the cliff because there's nothing there for it to hit. Well, all right, fair enough. This has got 360 cameras. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Defender would have had a reversing camera. <laughs> it, it just amazes me what people complain about these days. <laughs> a great British product and two people complained. The advert probably cost, I don't know, hundreds of thousands to make, um, and they had to withdraw it. <laughs> very, very poor state of affairs. Um, I, I think if I'd have done it, I wouldn't have been very pleased. If it had been one of my videos, and, 
and they did it take me down. I wouldn't have been very pleased, so God knows what they felt like. Anyway, so you've got the sunroofs there and you've got the, the roof rail carrier system there. So there's the reversing camera that you would have been able to tell if you were going to go over the cliff before the people complained. Uh, split tailgate, really, really substantial, well built. Nice day. <laughs> Sorry, there's a car coming. So as I say, very, very well built. I can't think of any other four wheel drives on the market that, that I, would, I would sit on the, uh, the tailgate, but th this is just made for it. You've got the third row of seats here. I've got this one up at the moment. I've got too much camera gear for the luggage space left when there's the, the six and seven seats up. But, uh, you know, that's, you, just, you want the headrest up, you just pull it up like so. And there's a little catch or the seat squab you've got to get in from the, the back doors, pull the seat squab up and then from here, little catch and fold it down. Another car coming. I've got to be honest, I could sit here all day. <laughs> I, I wish I'd have got a coffee on the way here now instead of uh, getting it on the way back. But what else is there to say? Um, tow bar, you've got rear parking sensors too. Just just a, a, a lovely car. Um, just, you know, a vehicle that you could buy and it doesn't matter what happens. If you have a bigger family, you've got two extra seats, you've got to take somebody to university, you can fold the seats back or move anything. You know, the, the amount of, we, our, the local tip, if you go in a van, you have to pay and you have to, or, or you book in advance to get a permit and you can only go once. You can go as many times as you want in the Discovery and, the, and there's, there's probably nearly as much room. So it's just, it's the only car you'd ever need for anything. It's perfect. Anyway, you know what I think about Land Rovers and Range Rovers. They're like, they're like the, the Spitfires of the road. They're just perfect in every way. And when I say Spitfires of the road, I mean Supermarine Spitfires with a Merlin engine. I'm, I'm not sure whether side steps make it easier to get into or harder to get into, but uh, I think if you're a certain height, they stop you just getting in. And when you step on the side step, you're then too tall and you, you have to duck in. So um, the jury's out on that for me. I, I, I don't particularly like side steps. Anyway, like new in the back, it's got the carpet over mats the three seats fold down they, f they fold down they don't fold perfectly flat they, they're just up a little bit still you can get plenty of luggage in the back or, or, or anything you want a wardrobe fridge you name it a few bikes loads of boxes they, they're just great and there there you've got as I say the, we've got two glass panels so it's nice light and airy and also of course you've got the theater seats and not only have you got the theatre seats, which are raised slightly higher than the ones in the front, but then you've got this step up in the roof as well. So, you, you, I mean, I, I've, got, I've got masses of headroom, although I, I suppose I could perhaps, <laughs> under some circumstances, catch my head on, on there. But I don't know what those would be going over, a, going 
going over a humpback bridge or something with no seat belt on but it's it's a fantastic design it really is a fantastic design um love them oh we've also got harman kardon speakers so the sound system's great and you've got this light wood uh, which looks like proper wood and and, and I, I really like them isofix rear chelsea tanker points and it, again like i have in the back seat i've got one seat up the other seat for my camera equipment you can you can do the same with these just uh pull down like so and and, and it's as easy as that I'm going to revise my earlier statement. They're not the Supermarine Spitfire of the road. They're the Hawker Hurricane. The, the Range Rover Sport's the Supermarine Spitfire. That gets all the glory, <laughs> but the uh, Discovery does all the work, the proper work. Anyway, I'll just take you for riding it. That's the Range Rover key. As I say, as long as you've got it somewhere on your person, you just get in, foot on the brake, start the vehicle. I've got the uh, air con on, super icy, and it is cold. Blowing out the back there as well for the passengers. Just trying to keep my cameras cool so they don't. It's very, very warm this morning. Um, 15 degrees out there. Right, so service history. Let's just turn that down once, one more, that should be okay. <clears throat> service history. 11th of the 3rd, 2014, that's 11,788 miles. Hammond Land Rover. 20th of the 5th, 2015, at 28,670 miles. Marshall Land Rover. 18th of the 1st, 2016, at 37,494 miles. Marshall Land Rover. 21st of 4th, 2017, at 54,489 miles, Marshall Land Rover. 21st of the 12th, 2017, 64,548 miles, Sussex four-wheel drive. 18th of the 12th, 2018, at 69,537 miles, Ashdown Motor Services. 25th of the 2nd, 2020, at 75,188 miles, Ashdown Motor Services and 15th of the 1st, 2021, at 77,499 miles. Has done 84,397 miles now, so doesn't really need a service, but um, we'll, uh, we'll certainly give it a sales check over. Right, now let's go. Um, just pointing a different way this morning and uh, clear day absolute beautiful right, just switch me glasses on just trying to make this uh, video a little bit different because we've we've got quite a few discoveries in and it is difficult to uh, think of new stuff although extra features this has got time climate so time climate you can set the heat to come on seven days timers there you go you can set what time you want it to come on at uh, what time you want it to go off at and uh, that's that's handy defrost your, your windows if we get back there Go back to extra features, cameras. There you go, reverse camera, and you, you've got your sides there. You can select two cameras and enlarge. So there you go. You can see, I'll just, uh, let's see. I just forgot where I put the key there. I'll just show you. So. You can see where you are um, and also if I put that on like so, enlarge, then 
you will see that the Defender video was realistic, could have been made. I don't want to go over the edge. And there's no reversing noises. Get the video back on Land Rover. It was a great video. Showed the best parts of the UK as well and the, the best products. Look at this. This, you know, kind of a, a speed bump there. And uh, I think that's to stop people doing handbrake turns. Oh, you, you're kidding me. No, no doubt this camera is too cold. I've got, I've got the I've got the aircon on to stop it overheating, and I've got two two jets pointing at it. That it must have been too cold, and it switched off. You can't win. Right, okay. So cruise control, everything dead easy on Land Rovers. Cruise control, one touch. That's it. You can decrease your speed using that button. Increase it using that button, cancel using that button, and resume using that. We've got power folding door mirrors. Just hold the two buttons there at the side of the electric door mirrors, and they fold in. It's uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see. So there we go in the center. If I click, we're just coming up to some sheep. I spoiled my, there we go. So if I click that, you may be able to see it changing there. Average speed, consumption, distance to empty and so on. So, good display. We've got We've got rev counter the left there, information display in the center, and then speedo. If I go over here, that brings another menu up, and then we can scroll through there vehicle settings and so on, trip computer, show warnings, vehicle setup, click on vehicle setup and then you've got the alarm sensors, high beam assist and, and the locking controls. So we, uh, we, we don't want to see that but if I just go back there again and I click those two, those are the front cameras and large I can only assume that that was invented for the situation I found myself in last week when I'd been, uh, I'd finished doing my video and I was just replying to some emails and I'd got my head down and I was just about to set off and, and a sixth sense told me to check in front of the car. I was in a car park up there off the road and I got out, I got out of the car and there's a sheep laid down in front of the car. So I'd, I'd have just run over it, but not with ease. So obviously that must happen a lot in the country and, and which is why this, uh, this vehicle is fitted with 360 cameras so you don't run your livestock over. We'll just go on to nav. The, uh, that, that reminds me of um, the first time I flew with Emirates And uh, they, they have cameras on the plane, and you can. There's a TV screen in front of you, and you see what's going on, and it's very, very disconcerting when you see something coming towards the plane. When we're actually just on the runway and waiting to to set off taxiing, <laughs> and there's like another plane coming towards you, taxiing off the runway, and you can see it in the camera. It looks like it's going to fly into you. Oh dear me, no need for that mate, just uh, 
on his way to an accident, that guy. So you've got your terrain response controls down here. You can raise and lower the suspension. Put it into sport there. It's a big seven seater, it's fast enough. You can also change gears with the paddles on the steering wheel here, down on the left, up on the right. Just here, let's just see. Just here, uh, if you can see there, that's the steering wheel control. So you can set the steering wheel, you can set the door mirrors, you can set the seats electrically, and then just memory one. That's it, it'll, it'll remember that position. We'll just do that, memory one. Um, and then you've got three positions here. We'll just check where two takes you. <laughs> two, two takes you to uh, like a, a Chris Harris driving position. I can still drive okay like that. I wouldn't like to go a long distance, but I, I can. I mean, it just shows you it's a big car and somebody, I didn't want to take any further. It might even go further forward um, from that memory position. But let's just, uh, Try here, so what was it? Three. Oh, now that that's ow. That's that's absolutely squashing my. In, in fact, it's it's digging into my knees. Somebody that drove that this car before was in this position, and I, and I have to say, you're supposed to be at least ten inches away from an airbag. So if that airbag went off, then. Uh, uh, They'd certainly be winded. So here we go. I'm putting myself back to position one. You'll see the steering wheel changing there and the, the door mirrors as well. And then the few and the seat going all the way back. And I, I promise you, I'd never tried those memories before. And uh, that's, that's genuinely how it was set. It's not been uh, altered in any way. So, in answer to a question I get, I get a lot, what's it like for small people driving, can they drive, then yes, that, that must have, whoever drove this before must have been about four foot, I would imagine. They're, so, they're just so easy to drive. And I certainly get the cameras now. So we've got high pressure headlamp wash as well. Just trying to think. Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, touchscreen sat nav. We'll just put it on by click. Well, there's a couple of things you can do. You can go to the home menu. Audio's off there, I'll just click that on. There you go, the Hollies. Harman Kardon speakers, great sound system. I have messed about with the sound system. If we go to, you can go to audio video from there, and you've got settings up at the top. 
the settings, you know, I mean, traffic and news, that blasting out when you don't want it, right in the middle of something you're listening to, it tells you about a, an accident about 300 miles away that never going to concern you. But anyway, that's where you knock it off. That's where you knock those off. But then you've got audio settings, the all important audio settings. The subwoofer here, and get that up, plenty of bass. The bass is turned up and a bit of treble too. And we'll, we'll, try, we'll try that again. I'm going to switch that on, knock it back. Long, cool woman in a black dress. I, for the life of me, I can't think why they wouldn't call it tall, cool woman in a black dress, but one of life's mysteries, great record. The sound system in here, though, I mean, considering how big it is, is superb. What else? Oh, we've got these. First of all, the, up and down the, the little armrests. But then you've got the big armrest here, and I think that's got the cooler box in it as well. I haven't checked it, but it's nicely set out everywhere. Your memory seats there, your electric windows, nice big armrest here for lazy people like me. Your telephone controls there, your cruise controls there, and then your climate controls and your, your four-wheel drive. Everything set out really, really well. Love this time of the year. try and show you a little bit more um, of the country too. The, the car drives absolutely perfect. Everything nice and easy. Easy to hand. Nice big switches. Oh actually if you click that, there you go, if you click that you can go straight into settings rather than go through the menu. And then also you've got set up. Big car, still handles well. So there you go, that's that's the music, that's the setup for sorry, the, the settings for the audio, and then you can go into setup there. Climate control. got the, the two glove boxes there, one there and one there. Your lights are on the right hand side. Not the best place to stop. But a, a foreign visitor, despite Brexit. There's a Skoda. Skoda Superb. Polestar.
think he's just asking for trouble because there's another car coming up there which you probably meet round about that bend unless the other person stopped. <coughs> yep, there you go. Certain death corner too. The swallows all flying around. Melt mill. <laughs> the only thing I can think is that the water used to be a lot higher in this valley. Tourist attraction. I don't know where that number plate was from. So anyway, great car, nice and clean, Lance hasn't even been at this one yet, and it, it's pretty nice. A heated front screen, heated seats, aircon's icy cold, even my GoPros have, or mostly, that, one, that one's got too cold, but the others have remained on and it's the, been the hottest day of the year so far I think for me here that's it let, let's 
Let, let's just <laughs> let's just do the uh, <laughs> just let's just do it to death. So here we go. <laughs> you can't put an advert on that on TV like that because your reversing sensors wouldn't beep because there's nothing there. Look, <laughs> reversing camera. There you go. Get the Defender back on TV. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.